the stationary axisymmetric flow of drilling mud under the action of a constant pressure drop created by a drill pump in a horizontal pipeline is investigated. The relevance of the proposed work is determined by the fact that the quality of drilling mud is one of the most important components of the technological process of drilling oil wells. In this regard, there is a need to develop a formulation of a dispersed system, which is a drilling fluid that allows for effective cooling of the rock-destroying tool, high-quality removal of sludge to the surface in compliance with the requirements for solutions, with minimal material costs. Practice shows that their rheological properties have a predominant influence on the main indicators of drilling fluids when drilling wells. From the standpoint of rheology, the optimal drilling fluid in a fast-flowing stream should have an effective viscosity comparable to that of water, and when rising at a lower speed. Its viscosity should meet the conditions for transporting sludge to the surface without accumulating it inside the well. Consider the stationary axisymmetric flow of drilling fluid in a straight horizontal pipe of radius R and length L when transporting it from the preparation point to the wellhead under the action of a constant pressure delta P drop created by a drilling pump. Taking into account the rheological equation, one, expression, four, can be represented as Integrating, 4, we obtain the radial distribution of the axial velocity. The obtained radial distribution of the axial velocity, 6, makes it possible to determine the medium flow characteristics necessary for practical use, volumetric flow rate Q and the average flow velocity of the liquid along the pipe section epsilon x according to well, known formulas. To characterize the viscous properties of a moving medium, we introduce two rheological parameters, the effective viscosity and the local and integral properties of the fluid flow, respectively. For a stationary flow of a pseudoplastic fluid in a cylindrical channel, it can be found by the formula 9, which, taking into account 4, will take the form 10. If we construct the Reynolds criterion based on the average values of viscosity, flow velocity and pipe diameter, we can characterize the flow of pseudoplastic fluid. Since the comparison of expressions 11 and 12 relates the coefficient of hydraulic resistance to the flow regime of the medium Reynolds number. It can be shown that for a stationary flow of a power fluid in a cylindrical channel, the hydraulic resistance is due only to friction losses in the absence of mass forces. The results of the work performed allow us to draw the following conclusions. A. A hydrodynamic model describing the rheological properties of drilling mud within the framework of the Ostwald de Weyl plastic fluid flow law is proposed. B. Analytical expressions of the radial distribution of the axial velocity are obtained, which decreases non-linearly from a maximum in the center of the pipe to zero on its wall. The effective viscosity is also non-linearly distributed along the pipe section. Taking zero values on the axis of the pipeline and a maximum on its wall c. The dependence of the volume flow rate of the liquid on the magnitude of the pressure gradient increases with increasing pressure drop is determined. d. It is shown that the hydraulic resistance decreases with an increase in the pressure gradient, which is, probably due to the destruction of the structural bonds of the medium under study. E. The introduction of the concept of average viscosity, which characterizes the rheological properties of the flow of a model liquid, allows you to link the parameters of the resistance of the medium from the side of the pipeline wall with the viscous properties of the liquid itself. Thanks for your attention.